Hello, everybody. It's morning, or day. It's 3 p.m. 4 p.m. here. Oh. It is so warm. I woke up sweating really bad. The heat's getting worse every single day. I'm getting cooked alive. It's only 30 degrees, but <clears throat> oh shit. Dude, I can't, I, it's gonna just get worse and worse. Well, for a lot of people, it's only, but oh my god, it literally is just a heat warning. <gasps> Hello! Oh my god, hi Milky! How far did you get? Because I remember you were streaming when I went to bed. Well, let's hope I can keep you just as long. Yeah, that's a long time. He got pretty far. I assume he skipped the demo. Yeah, I streamed for seven. Yeah, yeah, I, I played yesterday for seven hours, but I also included the demo with it, like the demo portion, because people wanted to have like a consistent story beat. I don't know how far ahead you are of me, if you're 10 hours in. I'm level 21. I think I'm somewhere along the same amount. Let me check. My question is, did, did you get through the second kaiju fight? <laughs> okay, so past that. So past Garuda. And wherever what fucking... Yeah, spoilers happened, but we'll see. You'll you can tell me. You can tell me if you're where I'm at. Hi, mom. Welcome. We're playing Final Fantasy 16. Okay, what the fuck was I doing? Uh, yeah, I'm level. Yeah, you're ahead of me. I'm level 19. Yeah, a little behind. I, I had to go to bed, dude. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Yeah, Good I was decision. fucking dying of heat. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. Yeah, yeah, this is single player, mom. Um, I don't need this. Could get the battle chains, but that's really fucking expensive. That's not that expensive. I should be fine. I can also get this, this Rook's Gambit. You'll not find a better price than that. Sure, why not? And let's get the battle chains. It'd better I'll be here. Off you go, then. Dude, I... Look. I just... I looked at Twitter... I should probably say thank you to Gav, too. And I wanted to fucking strangle the people there. Did you guys see the motherfucker who was, like, complaining that you could play a tutorial level with one button while also mm. using, like, the, the easy mode equipment? Just trying to make Final Fantasy 16 look bad.
Honestly, I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> well, sure is what it said it was. <laughs> So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Oh, he's so pretty. Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. And not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. That was kind of no gay. to make such a fuss. <laughs> you take care, all right? Hey, <laughs> oh. I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady. Ready. God, this is such a bisexual nightmare of a game. go all right let's go to the three reads uh i can't believe yoshi p said gays rosaria it's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Bran did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You'd get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. I can't believe we had to fucking fight her. That's really funny. But mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. Jeez. <laughs> I know. Fucking Torterra noise. Thanks for the two months. But I'm here now. Why is there just romantic tension with whoever Clive interacts with? We should press on. That's a sister? They're not blood related. At the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Dear Dop. Well, that's also fine. kind of bad, isn't it? Can we say the same bad patrons? That's a good morning. Well to those with my mark. That is bad. Masks. I'm a branded soldier. Never mind. Sworn to protect my noble mistress. God. This game is just so gorgeous. Look at the fuse on this one. Explains why there's a premium on the No, they're not they're not blood. <gasps> oh my fucking god! It's 14 enemies! Let's fucking go! Look at this guy, the big horn! Ah! 
That is quite literally. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe she's actually fucking fighting with us. That's so cool. It it's gonna be stingy as hell. Yeah, well. Oh my god! Oh, it's rampaging! Holy shit! Oh, oh my god! Dude, G Garuda just shreds those bars. Don't mind me. It's okay. Don't worry about me. Just killing just killing the local wildlife. Like one does. It's over. It's over. I'm so fucking yeah. over. Oh shit. Let's make this quick. God, this game is so fun. Beats the shit out of you with Garuda abilities. Beats the shit out of you with Garuda abilities. She beats the shit out of you with Garuda abilities. I will be honest. I have never heard of Final Fantasy before. What is it? A video game. The, na the name says it. It's the finalist fantasy. Your fantasy is final. Oh, nice. Oh, so why the fuck is it called Final Fantasy if it's the 16th one? These fucking developers. <gasps> look, even the fucking... Oh, look at them! Oh my god! My 14 brain is like going haywire. Oh shit! It's evil! It's evil! Oh, it's mad! It's mad! It's mad! It hates me! It's self-defense! At this point, it's self-defense! The whispering w oh my god. The whispering waters. 
Oh, I wonder if I'm gonna get attacked when I go over here. Oh, hee hee. Oh, tee hee. Oh. I missed. Over. Oh, nice job, guys. Boop. God, this game is so pretty. Hayden Brastor. Oh shit, side quest. They never finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Hey dude, you got problems with your chocobos? <laughs> Oi, stop and give me an hand. Here, you couldn't give me an hand, could you? Bloody bearer. And just when I thought my luck had changed. I should shut up, dude. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? Oh, I now I just want to punch help. you. These blasted birds must have caught away from my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. It was really late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest. But I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Sure, why not? Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Uh, yeah. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. I wish we could punch this guy. Hey, man. Look at your little chocobos. They obviously hate you. Fuck you. Are those goblinos? Oh shit, goblinos. with you.
Oh. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Oh, shit. Well, we got a little extra stuff. Oh. Let's see where else we can go. Ooh! We can go over here. See what we can find. <gasps> Item! God, this game is so gorgeous. I love it. all the materials I can. Alright. Look at them! They're so cute. And now I killed them. Listen, listen, it's for the greater good. I need materials. For the greater good. wants to return to the waters. Oh, oh shit, another one. Oh, I guess we gotta fight another really long battle. Hey, dude. Oh, fuck, that actually- 
actually hit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. Garuda, lend me your strength. There we go. Maybe if this game came out uh, <laughs> on uh, on PC, we could turn off motion blur. Oh. You didn't hear it from me? Ooh! <laughs> How many hours are we in? Uh, like, only like seven or something. Here we are. Martha's rest. Hello. That's one of our branded. Do we take him in? He's not one of ours. Look, it's with his master. <laughs> yeah, she's my master. Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. Here's your sealed crate. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart's surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Huh. Sounds about right. I'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Crammed with him, if I know him. Gizal greens? Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the cart up tight, the smell gets out. And birds come running from miles around. So it's like catnip for wrong. birds. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. Cool. Yippee! Cool, thanks. All right, I want to go down exploring. Uh, I want to go... Oh my god, look at how much we can explore. I want to go to the Crooked Nash Pier. I want to go down there. So much to explore. So many materials to get. So many enemies to fight. I just fucking blew that antelope away. Oh my god. Oh, they're dead. Oh. Wait. Oh, whoops. This way. Look at all the materials you can get. I missed. That's embarrassing. Oh. Nice! The dodge system in this game is so fun. If you start now, what would you have- Do you want to get spoiled? I'll gladly give you what's been happening. Not really? Yes, really? Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, we've, we're trying to find the, uh, what's it called? The next, the other icon of fire. Uh, Clive finds out that he's the second icon of fire, finds out that he's Ifrit, uh, starts getting really depressed, 
Uh, we find out Yashua is alive uh, through a cutscene that he's not part of. Uh, also, we, we had to see Clive naked in the cell. That was cool. That was awesome. Yeah, dude was butt ass naked in the cell. That was awesome. Wait, what? Can we rewatch that for reasons? Oh, I don't know about that, man. <laughs> Oh shit, hi! Another one! Holy shit! Dude, that combo was fucking sick! I just realized I never equipped an ability. Go Berserk! Oh my god! Chill! Right, I wanted to equip the, uh, the 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 thing that I was missing. Where was it? We have flames of rebirth. Let's get rid of cyclone. Let's fucking go. Let's look at it. What is the uh, recast time of it? Oh yeah, that's long. Oh shit. <sighs> yep, ooch, oof, ouch, ow, that cooldown. Um we can upgrade uh this ability. Oh. So that's upgraded. We can also upgrade... This. Or master it. Oh! We can double hit! Yeah, let's go. Hello, Ziggy! Damn, that thing's gonna take like 5 billion years to recharge. Oh god. <laughs> I know you're alive. have in this chest black blood don't 
Don't like that. Why is that just in a fucking chest? Someone just put like a like a a bag of blood in like a little chest. Where else do you store blood? See, I don't know. <laughs> Where would you store blood? Saving it for later? Okay. Okay. What would you need blood for, hmm? What are you saving it for? Oh, fuck! Ah, god damn it! Well, didn't mean to do that! Well, now we gotta wait for its fucking reset timer. God! Hey guys, what are you- oh. Hey guys, can I help you? It's Jover! Again, it's, but at least we won. It's Jover! <laughs> Sorry. Hello, Doc Doc? Never mind. I guess nobody's home. Pet the boy, okay. What does Pet the Boy do? That. Oh, it does multiple hits now. Ooh, that's cool. Don't hit it. I know you want to hit it so bad. Shen, you want to hit it so bad. Oh, you want to hit it so bad. I feel like I'm not doing the right amount of damage. It's... Damn it, I keep wanting to say it's Jover. Shut up! Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head! It's over. I've been completely deranged for the rest of my life. Hello. Up we go. I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. 
You keep that sword in its sheath. What if I don't want it? Wait, can we even... Oh, ladder. I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gov claims. Is there anything over here? Find out, shall we? No, I'm leaving. Bye. Do the enemies respawn? It sounds like they do. Now they're dead. Okay. Hello. Okay, bye. Sorry. Ready goes to East Pool, leave him in the pile. We'll take him over when the bridge is back up. And when's that gonna be? Wow. Big crystal. Here. Has this thing always been glowing? No, it's just because yeah, I'm here. Sorry, I'll leave. Wow. Walks along all of your cabbage. <laughs> Hello, townspeople. I'm just your average guy. Don't worry about so much for all parts of the empire being equal. If that's all the crystal they give us, oh, and it's not like any of us lowborn can afford a bearer anymore. Damn bitch, you pregnant! Forevermore orchestrian roll, let's go. Good for her, good for her. Oh my god, you're pregnant? What you're saying you get more dick than I do? Okay. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed, alright? But I was supposed to be in East Pool yesterday. The bridge is down. If you're headed for East Pool, you'll have to wait. Well, what if I wanna go there? <laughs> There was a VV scarecrow? Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> Look. There's even a tiny butterfly. Do you like that? Plenty more where that came from. Bro, I was talking to his chocobo like he's Did crazy. You hear the latest from Del Poison spat with Shiva. Crusaders didn't stand a chance even with an icon. Could go in there, but I like exploring. What are you doing? Are you freezing the fish? Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Keep them nice and fresh. Interesting. Oh, do. Hiya. What do you got? Nothing. Nothing. The founder's footsteps. Oh, even in this game, they want me to fucking collect. Damn it. Fuck it. Orchestrian rolls. Much obliged. You're insane for this one, Yoshi P. I'm already trying to do that in 14. Go. Go. Been doing healthy trade with the folk from the monastery of late. Funny how Grieger's servants always seem to have full purses. So I need to drink my drink. Fresh cuts, fresh cuts, get your fresh cuts here. Don't be shy! God damn! Are you a smith? Nah, damn it. Where are we? Oh, shit. Where does this go? Sorry, I'm just like an overexcited child looking around. I want to see it all. Inhale it with my mind. from its scabbard in days. Come on. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, I'll be happy to show you how well I wield my blade. 
after my shift's over. All right, guys. All right. I also have a blade that I can swing around. You're not special. If it weren't for that mark, I'd be on you like a rash. Damn, uh, thanks? Um... I can remove it. <laughs> we got Riz! We got Riz! Why are people here so horny? Have you seen real life? Do you like that? Hello. Don't mind me. Just coming through. It was good, honest work building the aqueduct. Back when we had proper leaders and proper trades. Not just selling our blades and our bodies. Marfa Brooks, no sharp. So following cheatery. I hope you enjoy the game, Shen. And thank you for all the laugh and joy over the years. I Smiley love it already. Face. Thank you so much for the 100 biddies. Uh, we'll be repaid with a swift boot to the arse. Mucking, stacking, packing, peeking, palming, foisting, fingering. Um. Undressing grains of gissel. One never down raw, lest bitter juices inspire violent retching and loose bowels. Two, avoid the fry pan, lest foul stink taint the iron, rendering it none better than slag. Three, I by no means put stew... Put to stew, lest the vapors overexcite stable bows. It suffered the fodder of one must, first mix with nine parts drake's mint, six parts lemon peel, or three parts ginger root, and soak in honeyed wine for a quarter moon to lessen the malador. Hello. Excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an Imperial Bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the West. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said he might be able to help us. Follow me. Oh! Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. Friend? He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? <laughs> well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. No. Quite blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. How can you promise that when you don't even know he's alive, dude? Just need that bridge repaired. Your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. Oh, we could totally said jump that. We could. A job. Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge, the one by the fallen gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you. And that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. Good thing we uh, cleared out 
all of the uh all of the monsters am i right to the marshes then let's find that ladder Good thing we did that. Very good to East Pool. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. Yes, Clive, you've gone down here before. Have they respawned? No, it's empty as can be. Yippee! I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. Ah, get away from me! Hold on. Uh, if that's happening, uh, let's go with followers. Followers. Let's do... Ten. There. What was that? It came from under the bridge. Come on. Hey there, man. I'd recommend subscribers only. But then so many people can't talk and that's kind of lame and... Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turned around... I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been <sighs> snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Actually, she asked one hour we follower mode. should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Okay. Goodbye, everybody who literally just started following. Oh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful <laughs> F for your chat help. for just followers. I'm sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. This dude must work real fast. God the damn. Will be fixed when it's fixed. It's right. I hear the levers are due to go up. Do you like that? I can work him faster? Hold on, what? <laughs> ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. <sighs> well, thank the founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They'd nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. <sighs> he can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. 
Thank you. We'd be delighted. In the same bed? <laughs> Dude, the dog can sleep on the bed with us. Level up. M. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes. There were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Or have they been sent away? They have, aye. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Meanwhile, they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums, even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Oh! Congratulations on a new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. A boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Uh -huh. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Uh -huh. And it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness at the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. Jesus Christ! That's thunder. Oh. It's thundering here in Germany. I can hear it. The heat wave. I still... If it was in game, you could hear it, right? I've seen talking to you. If there's anything you need, ask Martha. Tell me. Sorry. Is it very, very frightening? I think it's about to fucking start. Hold on. Give me a second. I gotta make sure that Rascal's home. Time to call for the little guy. Thank you. 
I also had to prepare a towel to like make sure that I'm not overheating. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, the fucking, the sky is just rolling with thunder. It's, it's growling. How hot does it get over there? Um, it can get up to like 35, 30, 30, 30, 34. I don't know how much it is in, hold on. In, hold on. Like, like it, that's only the worst. That's only the worst. Like, yeah, that's like 95, but right now it's only 30, so it would be, right now it's currently like 86. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's pretty bad. So average? Yeah, I- okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, here we go again. Here we go with the fighting. Uh, yeah, oh man, let's do the- let's do a Pain Olympics about how hot it's supposed to be. In a European country where it's not supposed to get that hot and we have, uh, buildings where, uh, the heat traps- he where, where buildings trap heat and we Wait, don't have- so she gave birth to a kid that could channel magic and then drop the baby off at the slave market all while calling the baby it? Yeah. Yeah, the temp gating is so annoying. <laughs> no, it's okay. I understand that in Australia I can get fucking hot. But right now in Australia, it's not hot, is it? You guys have fucking cold. Because it's winter now for you guys. Fuck you. Fuck you, fucks. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Feels myself dying. Ugh. Anyways. Where are we heading? Oh, right. Wait, what? We're heading over there. Oh. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Come and have a look. Don't be shy. Do we get there through here? Oh, we do. All right. I knew that children were tested. That a bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know. But for a child to be blamed. To be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. Well, actually, Clive, you were hated by your mom. We show you the bow. A bow, huh? You know, the bitch that ruined your life. Pippity boppity boss, I'm slowly melting cause it's so hot. Look at this tiny megalo crab. Oh, it's so baby. Hey, 
Hey, chill, boy. You're fine. Oh. Oh, we have everywhere we can explore. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Look, guys. It's a big fella. It's just a big dog. And the big dog's angry. Oh. Oh, shit. You can't hit it anywhere except from the front. Oh! Interesting. The turtle does the fucking thing, dude. And now, flames of rebirth! Oh, that did like fucking nothing. Killed the fucking turtle. Well. For the greater good. Oh my god. Dude, the fucking ice abilities. You need to chill. Those are too cool. I need you to stop. You're like, you're like being cooler than me. I think that's really unfair. <gasps> crap, 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 crap. Oh, damn it. Come on. <laughs> Hello, I love you. <gasps> that doggo is just minding its own business.
go. What? You what? I I I, I uh... It reset. I feel so fucking sad right now. Oh, fuck it, ow. You, you stupid turtle. I don't feel bad anymore. Yeah, okay. Yeah, at last, fuck you, huh? Die. I can't believe this. That thing fucking reset on me. All right, time to get back my, my better ability because you kind of suck right now. <gasps> Look at those chocobos! There's a green one! Wait, that means there probably is a red one somewhere. Suddenly, I am very nervous. And knowing that this is made by, uh, and directed by Yoshi P, well... gonna have he's he's gotta have put it somewhere look at these little fellas oh they're actually hostile why are you hostile you're just a bird I didn't want to kill them, they were attacking me!
Man. I didn't have to come to this. Look, I bet you this one's nice. See, this one's happy and sweet. See? Never mind. I touched it. I touched it. I touched it and didn't like that. Oh my god! It's fine. It's fine. See, these things I don't feel bad killing. Oh, there's another one of those bloopers. Hey there. You do not hit my fucking dog. Oh, there's so many more enemies. I want to fight. I want to fight everything. This material that we're getting. Which is good for us. We've got more crabs to deal with. So many crabs. Let's make this quick. Hey, that wasn't that bad. It's just a crab. Hello. Okay. Another big fella. Hey there, guy. How's it going? Oh. 
Oh, he's enraged. Oh, jeez. go nice little amount of XP a good little bit of destroying and killing and stuff Damn it, shut up me. I need to stop saying that. Yeah, the upswing punch is really cool. Okay, we need to go all the way over there. I wasn't even supposed to be here. This way. There's more things to fight. Oh, I love There's fighting. The what darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Let's go and see. Uh, well, first of all, I see some fucking spiders. Uh, need to get those, get rid of those, gotta be honest. Definitely don't want to deal with those. Oh, it's a graveyard. Feels bad, man. More spiders. You don't like the spiders in this game? Way too creepy for you. I I mean, that's kind of the point, I'm pretty sure. Alright, hello. We made it. Arachnophobia is fuck. Is a fuck. Is fuck. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you. We came to offer a donation. From Martha. <sighs> I see. Then please, follow me. I... I don't want to die. No. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light, it fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. 
I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can, for the time they have left. Oh! Why are they freezing? Oh, shit. The curse has taken them. Oh, it's... okay. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Now that their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed. Shit, man. We well. should get back to Martha's rest. Yes. Well, we should. Thank you for bringing us the physic. Would that we were not so reliant on Martha's kindness. But I fear we would have naught to soothe these bearers' woes without it. Save a prayer to a god that is not their own. Okay, we can just go in here. Okay, hi. Hi, I guess. Uh, uh alright. Oh shit! <laughs> well, back home we go. Do we have to? Oh, I can just, I can just travel to the obelisk. Let's go! Quick travel. phone. Hi. Uh, I've got some bad news for you. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The 
powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength? What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You've got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this, and they'll know you for one of us. Seal. The slumbering chocobo. And know that you will always be welcome here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. Let's get out of here. Never mind. Into a cutscene we go. Sid. Ah, oh, Clyde. Oh. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Oh. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. Oh, he has to use a crystal now. Ah! But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. to just save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else, 
But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. But I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. So uh, then. Bye, Sid. I love you. Wish we could have kissed. <laughs> We have Cyquist. Never mind, we're not leaving it. I have to find you. Can't talk now, I... Oh, you're Clyde, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now, one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Cool. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor Sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here, if you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? Sorry, every time they say bear, it's like bearers seek seek less. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false, acted like he was one of us, and the whole time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. British rage. Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right? You don't send a bearer. Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. The Someone said are they racist. saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. Better find this Norris before Ronald takes matters into his own hands. There is a hardly difficult to spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? Oh, not a side quest. Here, you're that bearer who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Now, I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. But it's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. Why can't you do it yourself? I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Claimed it? All right, eaten it, but, but, but only might have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry. There, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say. The ladders right over there. Ah, oh, I see. You scared of crabs? Come
God, Christ. Never heard of crabs eating crystal. That should be interesting. Oh, does that mean it might get the attribute? It's over. What if it's like a bigger crab? Now that it ain't a fuck a fucking crystal. Where do you think you're going? Foul crystal. Any more time down here than I have to. Uh, Case and I thank you so much for the, the for the sub. I appreciate it. <sighs> All right, bro. I got your fucking crystal. It stank, dude. I presume. Yep. Uh there you go. You found it, oh sang you. You're welcome. Any longer out in the sun, and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. There was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Didn't Lose mention that smell like shit. Ah, oh, thank you. Well scrap the nets <laughs> take to begging. <laughs> yep. All of the day's work. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Let's see. Ah. Hey there, dude. You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. Well, you barely have to step out. Time to see what's going on down here. That's one of our branded. You can't have gone far. Ooh. I better keep my eyes peeled. Items. Sorry, I gotta go for items too. I mean, I already killed everything here. Ah, shit. A lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. He's staying in that little hut over there. What he doing? Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. Hey, dude. Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. 
So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an Imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in Paris. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And... Sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. Yeah, I fucking... I thanks. I called worse. Oh. <laughs> I learned him back there. <laughs> like the F-slur. <laughs> thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. Freak. But, if I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry <laughs> to be rid of it. They found out I Ron liked men. Gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial surge before it begins. A bear without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. And only to be betrayed by a friend. They called me worse. They called me sis. Oh, we fuck. Oh, we fuck. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean, I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. I only wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Good. Fuck you. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really. He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. Good, good job, Clive. Let's go! Finally, let's get the hecky out of here. I hear the levers are due to go up. Across the bridge we go. I have a slumbering chocobo. Welcome to the Brotherhood. You're free to come and go as you please, even to the north. Now the bridge is fixed. Thanks, man. Pet the boy for you. Don't you worry about them boards. I use good solid. Oh, bumper. fucking guys, come on. No! On you want to be careful of. <laughs> oh, 
Ah, guys, come on. Guys, guys, no, not this again. After it. You guys fucking suck. <laughs> oh, God. You like that, don't you? <sighs> We're gonna be here a while. Get it, boy. <sighs> Good boy. That redeem needs to be more expensive. I promise you, they will still be able to do it. My viewers are fucking insane. <laughs> Fetch. Oh my god, that's it. I'm doing one more. Good boy. There. Martha said the blight, it's spread even further south. Pushing yet more monsters down with it. <gasps> I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. So much fighting! So much fighting! <laughs> Don't say it. Don't say it. Shut up. Pet the scorpions? I don't think I want to do that. I level up. That's awesome. Love battling. So many things to fight, so many things to kill. Oh shit, okay. There's another flower. Oh. I angered the out of bad boys. Hold 
Fucking go. Pet Torgal, he did well. <sighs> Come here, little guy. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're not petting him. Come on, Clive. That was half assed. <laughs> All right, let's see. What else do we can we get? Can we get? Oh, we have so many ability points. Ooh, 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 ooh. What head do we have here? God, that's so cool. Look at that fucking tornado. Uh, we should probably. Yeah, let's master. <gasps> Hi, Rascal! Hi, little buddy! Hi! Hi! Hi, Rascal! Hi! Come here! Come here! Come here! Hi! You heard there was a dog, so you came as fast as you could. Because you're a cat. You're a cat. Hi! Oh, you're purring so loud. Hi, how's it going? Hi, Rascal! <laughs> yes yes oh we can we can upgrade it further but we need more ability points Ooh. yes what's up Wait, side quest? What is that doing there? Oh, it's so cool. Oh, I just, I, okay. The noises that are coming out of my PlayStation controller are plentiful. Let's go. Let's kill spiders. Fucking spiders. God, it's just so cool. Okay, where are we going? We are going over here, but there's something over here as well. Oh, a wyvern. Oh. 
Oh shit! Whoa! The same as the one back at the hideaway. Doesn't Hi, seem to dude. be working there. Hi, Rascal. You there! Over here! Frederick! Excuse me, I'll use that blade of yours. Oh, curse my luck. I branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. That's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You and the Marfrys, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you, then. Not while there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Laid out bait, yes, rascal. think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. We'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. We'd made them mean instead. Arthur's no fool, so she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of him, will you? All right. I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. You want to know if it's safe to come across. All right, off we go then. Let's fucking go. Ooh, my back. Ooh. Ooh. Let's fight some fucks. I saw there was like a uh, minotaur over here. Hello, minotaur. Okay, all right, I almost fucking died. Cool. Sorry that I'm like silent. I'm like, I can't talk and game at the same time for some reason. Because then I just play bad. Oh look, there's another Minotaur, awesome. Better already. Hey, dude. Don't 
mortal are you? Did you just... Did you just... What? So good. The combat's just so nice. And this is like only like the beginning of the combat. Like, I'm pretty sure you can do like so many more things, which is insane. You're hungry, all right. Hungry and mean. It's over. Can't wait till you start chaining like a shit ton of stuff together. Gonna be so cool. over here a little hut oh fucking rat ooh goblin coin Hey there, man. You, Bryce? What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. <laughs> You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? Oh my god, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> oh, Frederick. You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. Perhaps, maybe we should just start killing. You know, just an idea. <laughs> Look, the windmills. That must be Eastpool. 
Why are we helping them? Money. Always for money. Hello. No, that's what I mean. I'm helping them for money. I want the money. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. This area seemed a very different place back then. Hello. So cute. <sighs> Nothing's here. Oh, I can't even go up there. Immersive immersion ruin. What's over here? What's all the way back here? What's hiding in the weird flesh? Uh, the weird ugly pit. Stay down. It's over. Is that a black mage scarecrow? Uh, BB or black mage? Yeah, some one of the two. It's really cute. What is out here? Oh ha 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 ha! Garuda, lend me your strength! My God! I'm too good at this game. Just kidding. It's... I, I feel like I'm not doing enough damage, but at the same time, maybe I am. Oh well. It's fun, so it doesn't matter. Level 22! God, I've already been playing for two hours. I feel like I just started. <sighs> wow. Clive with Dick Down Voxer? Where did that comment come from? Clive Rossfield. No, it's not wrong, but I'm just like, where did that come from? Huh? It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. 
the Lord Marquis and Jill too. It's so good to see you both again. Oh. It's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. I did like that guy. Too bad he's uh, turned into uh, into ash. Hey, so how do we tell her that we killed her? Uh. <laughs> And you have been wandering the world ever since. He'll get better? Okay. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes. But oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. Yeah, you only just noticed, huh? It uh, wasn't easy. We survived, and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. Can you believe my own mom did this to me? Awesome, right? Do you think you will stay here? In Eastpool. Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. Yup. Oh, he didn't know! Oh! Oh, fuck! He didn't know! I... I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Oh, shit. We're in so much fucking... Oh, we're in so fucked. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you. I feel like Yoshi P inhabits, like, my need to torture Voxer, which is awesome. Thanks, man. Good morning. She really has been very kind. <laughs> Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. 
that I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. on the balcony when we looked up at the moon trauma I bonding said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered ah you came back to me the heavens must have a plan for us Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We should get some rest. Right. Oh, that was a little uh Ooh, Okay. Don't <laughs> well. <laughs> Good night, Clive. Sleep well. Our bed rolls five feet apart because we're not straight. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of oh. my old clothes? Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke. Oh shit, sexy drip. In summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. I wish Dad was still alive. But he's like a head short, you know? They suit you well. Sorry. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes! You've been most kind. <laughs> no, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's follow the road. Invictus. That's worse, yeah. Let's fucking go. God damn. Uh ooh. Well, we have the XP earned. The increased attack. Ooh. I'm 
more wolf. damage on Rising Flame. Take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. Oh, he looks so good. Also, why his waist so small for other men to grab? Slut. Not bad at all. We'll make a master baker of you yet. Me too, man. Me too. Goblin coin. Goblin has wares if you have coin. Harvest stone again this year. Bloody blight. Service will see us through winter. Maybe. But it's not as old we've got anywhere else to go. Hi, Rascal. Bye, Rascal. The cape stays on during sex? I agree. I fear that the old road to Phoenix Gate was lost to the blight many years ago. Have care out there, both of you. I hate what the Incredibles have done to capes. I think capes are so sexy. That's why Voxer of Arrows won. At least 14 Voxer. You know what's really funny? Like, I design my characters depending on what I enjoy. Like... I think, I think elf ears are so fucking hot. <laughs> well met, friend. The Gaia Blade, oh. Nope. They'd already have Come this. back soon, no. I also enjoy traumatizing my OCs, true. I think it's just, I think it's funny. Those are Elwins. By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. Hi. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. I the self same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. Well, problem with that. My bearers. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastport. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. What if Clive just kept up the act? When the like, Iron I have no idea who you are. Sorry, what? Back, Many who lost their masters fled here, in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brec. The duchy was dissolved and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their granted, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. Okay, cool. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house. 
and still consider the Rossfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be Hold safe on. with me. Hold on. Can't tell if it's storming or not. Oh, never mind, it definitely is. But where's Rascal? Christ, it's pouring! God damn! Well, there's a lot of water. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. 
if it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service, only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Cool. Are there any other quests here? No, absolutely not. Okay. Hey, man. As fine a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on. Let's go and meet that bearer. Clive, I, I don't want to say it, but your tits are kind of popping. Here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. I like that you can see the strap of the sword. Oh, it's so good. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer. An elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour. Cooking up his... Fantasy feasts. I'm sorry. Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'd often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Aww. Living in a dream, he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceregan stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway. You'll be around here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to East Ball, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either, though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. Oh, dear. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. Why is Clive so hot? Anonimo. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper might know where your bearer is. He's taking the old boy under his wing, so to speak. You should go and have a word with him. He'll be in the stables. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper. Hold on. Thank you. We... I just saw lightning flash. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh. Lightning in game or what do you think? What what do you think? Sorry, I meant in game. <laughs> I wonder where Rascal went. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. 
Can I call you Matt? <laughs> no, that's so mean. No, that's so bad. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. The wind's so strong outside. Bloody hell's he got to? <laughs> the youths look troubled. Excuse me, but is something the matter? You can hear it? No, that's my fan. It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for... He's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. Clive's shirt looks so tight, right? Ah, so that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him, and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. It's really funny because Clive's so fucking hot, and then you look at his face, and he has like those I baby eyes. Into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Again, he. It, it, I will stand by this. Clive looks like if you look at him wrong, he'll start crying. Drink up now. Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further? Oh, gee, all the monsters are gone. Wonder where, wonder where those are. Look, there's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. Company. Unless there's... Oh no, Could not the fucking wasps. They need to die. Agreed. Wow, awesome. for you so long that you finally came I'm not who you think Clive <sighs> yes pray forgive my long delay it's nothing your grace I prayed to the founder that you would come and at long last he answered Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I am on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you... wait for me in Eastpool? 
Until my journey is complete, I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Well. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. Does every quest need to be so light sad? Light is on our doorstep. Yeah. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half our worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad, I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. Thank you. Yay! All that guilt. It's eats it. By far the funniest interaction button I've ever seen. Oh. The Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. Light is leading the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. Oh. No plants. No animals. No life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. Yikes. Oh, hello, what is this? What's this? Another relic of the fallen. Guess we gotta come back here later. Oh. We won't be able to use any magic here. Another thing to worry about, as if the absence of Wait, really? enough problems. Take away the lad's life force, and problems are all that's left. Oh! We can't use any magic here. Interesting. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the Blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. Damn. Oh, wait. Oh, we're back in nice territory. Let's go.
Look, he looks like a kick puppy. Is. Phoenix Gate. Where it all went wrong. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. Am I tripping or were you very slowly losing life? Were you? Were we? Hey, did you fix me for the 46 months? I mean, we could discover the truth. I mean, it still doesn't explain everything else that's happening here. With the wars and the stuff. It's almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. It's just as I left it. Look, it's fucking... Shut the fuck up. Awful. Awful, awful. Could I have done this? Could anyone? Holy... That's where the explosion was. Crater. Oh, wait. Hello? That's him. Oh. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. Let's go. It's Organization 13. To be seen. Damn it! He's like a bloody eel. What is this place anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The apodotry is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. 
He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, chill. Yep, well, that was easy. Also, that looks really cool. Thank you, Joshua. Are you sure about this? Nevermore. Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. Oh. Whoa. Could this place really be a fallen ruin? You could hardly call it a ruin. It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. Jesus, dude. This looks awesome. Have you ever seen anything like this? Those things are going to come alive and they're going to fight us. Oh, you activated it. Jill. Oh. What the? Oh. Oh. Fallen bug. Oh my god! Elegant, elegant bugs! Oh, we did that so fast. Oh, more enemies. Oh! More trouble. Oh my god, it's the fucking orb! The self-defense node! I'm gonna lose my mind, this is so funny! That's enough. Fourteen players laughing their asses off. Every other, like, Final Fantasy player being like, oh, cool. How can these things still function? I don't know. And how many other games is elegant stuff? Or is it only 14? This. This must be what the Fallen Only 14? Like FF3? Ooh. So FF3 players and FF14 players. Shaking hands and laughing. Spiders. Ooh. 
I need to get to that self-defense node. I need to get to that self-defense node. This is so cool. Wow! Oh my god! Wait, is this where we fought? Oh! They named it both times? I'm dumb, I'm sorry. Looks like you can take a beating. Then let's give it one. <gasps> oh my god, I always! Oh my god, I always! <laughs> I'm so fucking normal! I'm going all the way up. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Hey, stop. You're down here, Fan Daniel. Oh. Oh, that thing's about to explode. Wait, is it? Whoa! Oh! Okay. Oh. Terrifying. Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too. No. At least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. Oh, we're going up. Oh. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hellbent on murdering us, I expect. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking. So much money! Let's go! Uh-oh! 
Ow. Oh, they're fucking laughing. Oh. Oh, geez, thanks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, bomb. Let's go. Let's see what's going on in here. Hey there. Huh? Oh, okay. Guess we're stuck. Oh. I don't like this. I do. I like this. Hello. Seems the feeling's mutual. Iron Giant. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, God.
It's drawing in energy. Not for long, it is. With me. Oh, come on. was cool oh my god despite thousands of years of having passed since its forging not a single blemish scratch nor patch of rust can be found upon this metal surface as to how that is possible none can say and the answer will likely remain lost forever nice it just falls backwards like a rogan It's done. What are these creatures? And why do they keep attacking us? Jill, I have a feeling you're not supposed to be here. I just, I have a hunch. They're probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. Jill, look. A chest, I saw it in the background. Oh. Is that some kind of mule? It's worth a closer look, whatever it is. Wait, how the fuck do we get there? Oh, hide him. Wow, we're given potions, huh? Gaming. Hello, gaming. How's it going? Thanks for the sub, I appreciate it. Hello. What the fuck? All right then. Wait, Lich? Whoa!
Whoa, I've really angered this thing. Oh, 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 oh my god! Chill! Oh, fuck! Oh! Place holds even more secrets than we thought. <laughs> Lich. There's more items. <coughs> There's multiple ways for us to go. Well, except for this way, I assume. Yeah, not this one. Cool. <laughs> Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. They're void born. What are they? They look like the, um... Oh, uh, like the mouth things. I forgot what they're... Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, perhaps it is. Perhaps that is it, Clive. You're right. Be open. Oh, open CC me is what it says. Over. Stay down. You know what to do. Activate the crystals. Lights. Well, that did something. <laughs> Me too, Jill. Oh god. Why did we awaken? Oh shit, we're rising. No wait. Oh. Here we go. So, it isn't a dead end after all. Apparently not. Oh. 
The big egg. Room. And look what's in it. What the fuck? How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years? More? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. Zodiac! <laughs> Oh, okay. I mean, that's just fine. You, you you're him. The second dominant of fire. Who are you? Yes, of course. What? Oh, fuck. It happened again? Are you kidding? Oh, wait, no, are we? Oh. I, I'm back. Oh. Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. I feared the Bai. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace.
shit. Okay. I guess we're just... All right. Hey, Clive, wake up. Remember to help me to the truth that awaits me. I will press on. Come, Ifrit. Show me who you truly are. I decided to not dodge that. Oh shit, wait! No, let me out! Ah! Oh, okay. Dude, he's so big. How the fuck am I gonna do this? Hey, Ifrit! Hey, Ifrit! Hey, Ifrit! Hey, Ifrit! Hey, Ifrit! Hey, Ifrit. Ifrit! Whatever. God, God! Jesus Christ! Please. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, shit. Dude, he's so big. What am I going to do? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come here, you. You fucking dog. Come here! Yo! Wow! Oh, 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 <laughs> What are you gonna do, huh? Turn into a little into into the blue. <sighs> oh shit. Who the f hi me hey oh, hey hey Persona 4 now. I'm you! No, you're not. Fuck you, mean no uh. I'll fuck it out. Dude, the theme! Yeah. 
Get fucked, nerd. Uh, get fucked, me. Hey there, me. You're so angry. the fuck? Oh shit, we're going demon mode! I see. You have me down by example. Fucking devil trigger bullshit. Not this time. Oh, whoa! Whoa, chill! something Jesus chill why yeah 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 Oh. It's time to find out who we are. Once and for all. Oh! Holy shit, Limit Break! Show yourself, you freeze. Oh my god!
shit, dude! Let's go! Love these kaiju battles, dude. They're so cool. Oh, my God. He's so cool. He's so cool. Oh. The power of the icon in freedom made a manifest. This shard of crystal is hot to the touch and can be heard to be a soft hum when held to the ear. Listen, I don't care that it's like not that gameplay driven when these parts happen because it's like kind of like a given, but it, it doesn't matter. It's just so fucking cool. It's just so cool. Fuck it, dude. <sighs> It's not the world that's on it. I knew that there was going to be a trophy in the middle of a fucking cutscene. Clive, are you all right? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. Chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. I think you need to take your antidepressants, Clive. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle. And I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. 
a baby girl. The second icon of fire who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground was me. Ifrit. Oh, Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed. But not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? Did we find out that the... Ah, uh, Clive. I need to know. Is this two different people? I mean, I mean we and know that it's I'm two different people, but... I might as well make myself useful. One of them is Joshua. We'll find your answers together. I want to learn the truth too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth. Even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. Wait, this is this is the first role of Clive's VA, really? I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. God damn! Dude's been knocking it out of the park! Unforgivable. And yet. They're what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill. <gasps> if he is here, then... The disturbance I felt at the care must have been... Confounded. The hour is later than I thought. Wait, jo jo Joshua, what? Oh shit, it's too tan. said he said sit paid him I let you run a muck with the rest of your rats and this is how you repay me I'll find out where he is I'll crush him Flay him! Rip out his heart! Him and all his filthy brood! And send every last war of hunter. Out. No! Yes! Yes, my lord! Yeah. Yeah.
Clive has gained control of the icon. You're free. Yippee! <laughs> Whoopee! <laughs> Wait, what? It's shared with the Phoenix? Oh, I didn't. So I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to skip that. Oh no, I don't know about the limit break. No. Oh. Oh my god! Okay! That's the limit break. Fireballs. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> we could upgrade the limit break like right now. <laughs> oh. Now we have twenty nine. So, they sent these share, right? Wait. Wait, so confused. Wait, they just said they shared, right? I don't have any if- Oh, you're right, I don't have the ifrit skills. All I am is a, uh... Is a lonely peasant who has a limit break. He returned to Eastpool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again about Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid too. All right, we should arrange an introduction then. I still can't use magic here. Woohoo! I like this detail. It's so cool. Thanks for the potion. Oh. Toggle, what is it? Oh god. Uh oh. Oh, that's fire. Oh, that's fire. Ah. What happened here? Well, Imperials. what do you think? What do you You'll pay for this? Oh, we've got a live one. Oh my god. Remember our orders? No survivors. Who would order such a thing? Oh. Oh my god, it's a tiny little wyvern. I like that we have the limit break gauge. Oh my god. <laughs> When did we get LB? When I upgraded. Everyone's fucking dead. This is great. Awesome. Cool. Good Thought you could escape us, did you, Branded? Nope. You were born a slave, and you'll die one. Kill all the Ducal dogs! Ducal dogs? Yeah, we're innocent people! Oh, you're gonna regret doing that. 
Oh, Black Mage! Oh, Astrologer. Stay down. That's enough. You're finished. Oh, wow. Oh my god! Uh, you belong to, uh, dead? Yep, that's all of them. Oh, no. Um. All must burn. The bearers and those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command. I bet, I'm, I'm pretty sure Hannah's dead. My mother ordered this. I'm glad you're starting to figure out that your mom's evil. It could wait. Like the uh the iron noise that you can hear. Clink, 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 clink. Oh man, everyone's fucking dead. Yep. Yep. I'm sorry, Lady Anna. Deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're too late. Gav. Clive. Oh, okay. Shit's fucked, dude.
Shit's fucked. Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them, when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav, we want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Man. Yeah, everybody was right that there was a fucking huge death flag. Hey, who the fuck now, are you? Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Oh, sh who the f you slimy bastard. Lord Kutger's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> Bro's hairline! Dude, he's receding! Okay, I'm gonna quickly be right back. I gotta use the bathroom. Hold on, where is my be right back screen? There we go. Be right back, my gamers. Oh.
I returned. Honestly, this Voxer drawing would. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, ever <laughs> when I posted this drawing, um, hold on, let me find it. Pillar messaged me. Uh, with um. This screenshot about Arsene, hold on. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad <laughs> people like Voxer like that. <laughs> Makes me feel like I did something right. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> when you walk away, you die. Vero, <laughs> please, what are you saying? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, fucking Bubby. <laughs> I see where where our said got it from. <laughs> okay, our said. Okay, I said. <laughs> Very good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, your drawing looks really cool. Thank you. Can you... <laughs> Someone sent me an ask! <laughs> Can you draw Jerma? <laughs> Cool. Well, I could. I could draw Jerma. Oh man, now we're bringing people. Now we're bringing the bad luck here. To Sid Solo, then. <laughs> we have a lot to discuss. Send your face for the sub. Can't wait to completely ruin this area. And what do you want? If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. <sighs> Is that all? Make it quick. So, what'd it be? Uh, let's reinforce. We can't. We need the Gaia Blade. No scratches, all right? So now we can... Wait, what? I'm so confused. How does this fucking system work? Not my best work, but it'll do. Oh, oh whoops. <laughs> I just made a big mistake. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused by this crafting system, dude. What? My ass is so confused. Anything else? Uh, guess I can sell that fucking blade now. Good job. Yes? What? If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. Uh, what? Oh! Oh, that was... Oops. Oops. I mean, someone. I'm thankful you got that much. 
Um, I can get rid of all of this. You got out else? I reckon I can find a buyer. You got out else? I reckon I can find a buyer. Relic weapon grind. Boo. Is that all? Ah. Uh. I fucked up. I heard Otto barking. Five, was it? What do we got in the music? Nice. All right. Well, time to say hi to uh, uh, the boy. Don't mind me. Just taking a quick break. Let's not tell him that we're actually leading uh, bad people you here. Keep running. Or we can walk through this door. Okay. Fuck. I get it. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. God. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk. No matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. He looks like a kick puppy again. Sorry. They bearers or beggars. Most but march blindly to their end. Never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? Aww. That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. They're still holding hands. They're so cute. <gasps> oh! What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. Uh oh. Oh, it's so pretty though. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we would be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but bore and bluster.
If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we have sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... Uh, uh, yeah, well, I, 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 <laughs> the gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea. Sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. <laughs> Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. Bro, it's just like, good luck, <laughs> figure it out, you fucking dipshits. <laughs> Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Orther. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. Yup. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all gone? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mined from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although admittedly, this air fits more easily in the pocket. <laughs> the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well, I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? 
Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? Rich people, leaders! The higher-ups? The gods themselves? So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. We should put like... But if we continue down this path... The leaders into like a little tiny box with a little bit of ether and, and send it to the well bottom of the ocean. <laughs> free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, What say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. <laughs> for this if everything yep. we were taught about the mother crystals was a lie then what else might we have been deceived about a few things I'll give you two a moment to sort out your kit okay well, to Ori Flam, and I wouldn't want you keeling over on the way <gasps> side quests dude I've already been playing for almost five hours and I've like it feels like I've just started don't mind me just take Hello. I see I'm busy here. What's saying for you, dear? Flame tongue. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Anything else? Oh, oh hey. That's the sword Milky wanted? What do you mean, wanted? Could he not make it? Was he missing items? You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Not just a letter. I lost everything. There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? Oh! I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary and no fresh meat for our So this is where pots. Milky stopped, I assume. Worst of all, that letter I lost? It was for Sid. A letter he's been waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. Scour storm from the <coughs> coast if I could. <coughs> First breakers in the field. <coughs> Ouch! On my arrival. Help! No. I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. Fine. Tell me where to look. Are you serious? <coughs> Thank you. It sounds happening? like the hideaway could use those supplies. <coughs> what is happening so, to me? Help! Where should I start? Gotan's bales, perhaps? I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. There's a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find everything I dropped, you'll be doing us all a favor. And if you can find Sid's letter, you'll be saving my life. If it's there, I'll find it. I guess he was like, yeah, I guess Wonderful. I'm allergic to side quests. No, I have to run. Oh, shit. To make Hold my on. Next delivery in time. 
It fucking crashed. Oh, God. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay. Sure. Whatever. All right. <laughs> My sneeze was too graphically demanding. Ugh. Though the people of Valestia rely on the crystal mine from these mountains in their everyday lives and flock to the aether which lands around them in pursuit of their blessings, Sid posits that it, it is... That it is, in fact, the Mother Crystals and their ability to draw Aether from the Earth that is the reason for the Deadlands' advance. The few who learn the truth are hunted down by those in position of power. Those whose power rests on their control of this crucial re resource. Yep. Aether. I trust you can find your way to Gotan's Bales. Oh, and hurry, will you? Sid oh, it's not the game that working. crashed. It's my fucking, uh... My... Capture card. I'm sure, he doesn't. The letter won't last very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. Is everything okay? That is not the button. Fuck off. There we go. Let's go. That sword looks so hot. Oh. The courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I better keep my eyes open. Sack. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. Yippee! <sighs> Was that a lizard? Did I just see a lizard? Hey there, dude. Hope you're doing well. Supplies. Look at them. The high quality grapes. If you don't if you don't love me at my triangle grapes, you don't deserve me at my HD grapes. I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter though. We've come this far. Might as well ask around. Well, okay. Hello. A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I'm looking for a letter someone dropped oh, nearby. Sorry. And I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do. Wait. I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which a way dog. did it go? Towards Lostham. <laughs> Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. Well... I, c I don't think you can compare that. It's looking to be a fine harvest. No, Torgo's right there. No. The I'm here. All salted and smoked. I'm here for a dog. Hey there. Hey. 
Hey, puppy. It seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. Someone's waiting for this. But he's waited long enough already. Can I pet Hopefully the dog? This will keep our career out of trouble. I, come on, let me pet this dog. This poor dog. Fine. Since I can't pet that dog, I'm petting this dog. Good boy. Oh, that's weird. Why does why does Torgal's noises come from my fucking controller? <laughs> why would they do that? That's such a weird decision. Pet my controller? Okay. I have pet my controller. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Hello. Maybe I should just... Oh. Well, there you are. I just got back to the hideaway and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you, um... Found the things you dropped. I did. I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter? Only a little worse for wear. Here you go. <laughs> no more skulking about in the shadows for me then. I don't think the... Yeah, you can pet no the dog Twitter to showed Torgal yet, but they did show Soken no petting Chocobo and uh, Torgal in their, letter. like, live stream or whatever business. it was. <sighs> if only it's from his daughter. She's off studying in Canver, and her letters are all that keeps Sid sane while she's away. You never mentioned a daughter. Well, he's a busy man. And thanks to you, he won't be Wait, wasting what? his time smiting careless couriers with leaven boats. Sid has a daughter? Actually, you did us both a service. Here, for your troubles. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. You'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. He has a daughter? Does she need a mom? <laughs> it's never this late. Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend. You see, he left some time ago and hasn't returned. And you know what it's like out there for a bearer on his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? For coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. Sid just got more and attractive. Karen does what I she can. I kill you. Her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait, you were a soldier, were you? In the Imperial Army? I was. Then, I ask a favor of you. I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quinton. The tavern keeper. He'll know something. I should have sure. picked both of them up, I'll shouldn't I? Him. God Safe damn it. travels, my friend. And thank you again. Now I have to go back there. Oh. Good job, me fucking idiot. Stupid, dumb bitch. <laughs> <sighs> For 
Hello. It's me again. Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked I like me to the check way that uh, Clive stands. He uses every single hero pose. Porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. Fine. Now feel good, boy. He's whining through my controller! Get it, boy! He's in the wall. Ah, uh, God. Sun setting fast. What do you Any have? Friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. <sighs> You're always welcome here in Lostwing. All right, let's get going. Where am I going? Oh, shit, wait, I gotta get on the bridge. Let's fucking go! Can you run a little bit faster, Clive? Just a little bit. Please, just a little bit faster. from a couple of the bearers what you did to them royalists over at the care. <laughs> Glad you're on our side. Of course. Nice. Yippee! Hey man, you fucking dead? You good? Are you alright? The hanged man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beast men on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but <coughs> Reckless Sod insisted on drawing him off. Where did this happen? Further down the road, in the clearing. Please, you have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. I hear the ice cream man. The truck is approaching my street. Surprised. It's
controller. Chill a little bit. necklace very little rhyme and even less reason went into the creation of this ghastly neck ornament the bones strung along its crude twine most likely belonged to those unfortunate enough to meet its maker oh what else is out here items and i want them Dogs. Morgan. I could go back. I should go back. Oh. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he dead dead. Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the roadside. I'll speak to Quentin. Just put him in your pocket. Like you did with those logs. The sword be looking dope. Yeah, the sword is pretty awesome. Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened. And I have some bad news. And I can't help but notice you're alone. Damn it. I feared as much. He's not far from the South Gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I'll send someone right away. I knew he was brave. Though I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work. And he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. Thanks. Wow, yay, quest complete. Woo -woo yippee! I'm so happy! Awesome! That's not the right fucking button. You stupid bitch. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Your friend is dead. <laughs> so what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot having? On second thoughts, I don't want to know. I mean, you can't give me anything. I'm already fucking Lionheart tonic. Ooh, I don't think I need that. I'm good. I'm good without. Speaking of Oriflam. I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it ain't tires bore bile tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will you? 
All right. Okay. Um. Let's see. What can we upgrade? We have 200 points. We can finally unlock something here. Sure, let's put that in there. Nice. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Hello. So you're really going through with it? Since we've been talking about bringing down a mother crystal, since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. We're just gonna destroy the Mother Crystal. That's fine. Well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the Royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. <coughs> that gets you an audience with the Dane. And it's the Dane who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a Stolas in the morning, let her know you're coming. We go way back. This is a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but... Who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. Um... A woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blind, you know, with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. Well, see, like, like that's what they explained, though, see, and Shudder. That's the, the, oh. The Mother Crystal is literally drawing... Is drawing the life force out of things. So basically what it's doing, it's turning into the, this giant mass of things that you need to keep stuff alive as it already was stuff that was keeping itself alive. So let's just say it's like you're like doing like a circular thing. You have a cup of water. A straw is pulling the water out into a bottle of water. So you gotta use that bottle of water to put the water back in the fucking cup! <laughs> okay, hold on, let me... <laughs> let me... <laughs> Here, I'll make a paint drawing. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Let's say you have a leg. Oh, that's that's not a leg. Okay. <laughs> Let's say you have a lake of water right here, right? So this right here is the fucking tank, right? This is the mother. <laughs> this is the mother crystal. Hold on. 
<laughs> What's the lake's name? I don't know. <laughs> this is the tank, and it's sucking the water out, right? So it's like... <laughs> right? <laughs> The thing that's keeping the, the greenery alive, right? <laughs> oh wow, okay, this 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 thing that's living. I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> so it's sucking it up into its tank, like and filling it up. And suddenly, all of this is gone, right? All of this is fucking gone. Because it sucked it all up. Well, how do I, how do I get rid of this? <laughs> so all of this is fucking gone. It's all dried up. Everything's fucking dying. Everything's dead now. <laughs> and people are just like, oh, oh. Oh, this mother crystal. Oh my god, it's so cool. <laughs> and they're realizing, oh shit, our shit is dying. So, the water that's coming out of this fucking tank, they take it only to bring it back over here to make shit grow again. When it never needed to be removed in the first place. There you go, I hope you like my history lesson. <laughs> Thank you, I feel informed. Cool, awesome. <laughs> I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service, anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading but through the reports, the father sent in by our allies and picking I'm out any you. problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> or, or maybe I don't have to. <laughs> I'll warrant a strapping lad like you who's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. So, Among Us Elephant takes water from lake. People find the lake's body killed by the Among Us Elephant. Then people vote out Among Us Elephant to put water back into the dead lake found in electrical. Got it. Totally understand it now. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Not everything's a fucking Among Us reference! Quick look. Oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? It depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. Man must have been a bloody tyrant. He can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> you're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. Yeah, dude, this game's so fucking fruity. <laughs> it's 
So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. This game is so... It's sucking all the gay out of the soil. But I think that, like, Clive is premium good boy material. He's certainly material for something. I'm still trying to figure it out. I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's You mark. can't just call him a himbo! Clive isn't stupid! As do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favoured gifts... He's emotional! Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. That's not how... That's not how this shit works! Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. A twonk. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with that one. Don't tell me. Turnips for supper. Brother, did you see? <laughs> he doesn't have a himbo hips. Yeah. Bread and wine from the tavern. Well, the loaf is slightly stale and the wine so it watered down, it will serve to fill an empty belly. There you go. May we? Truly? Okay, you didn't need to admit- listen- Stop! 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 Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. <laughs> and the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Quest complete. Did we just take all of their money? The little gill buck that they had? Hello! Ooh, what do we have down here? Bet you'd like to see what's behind that door, wouldn't you? Not on my watch. I want to know what's behind that door. Master Quinton will never forgive me if I don't save that crop. Oh, wait, hold on. Be back.
sorry for I, I I ordered myself some food because, well, you know. I don't have time to cook, I'm a video gamer. All I do is play video games all day. Is it pizza? No. I actually try not eat pizza. What type of food? I got myself a nice... Um, wrap. I like wraps. I, I, I want no trouble. Wait, wait, that's... Oh, glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's got them worked up. And little wonder, this'll be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Please, rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. All right. I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. We do need those grapes. <sighs> what was that grunt, my friend? Must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. Yeah, we've defeated a lot of wasps. Oh, that's a lot of wasps. <laughs> Holy shit! What? Stay down. Oh. Hello? Stay down. Okay. Looks like that was the last of them. I'd better let Quentin's man know. Huh. I genuinely love how MMORPG do side quests are. It's so funny. But how did the grocer know his daughter had been sleeping? Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our Gotand Rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well... He certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> sure. 
Should have called this quest to do it for the vine. I'm just saying. <gasps> I just think it would be funny. Help us, I beg you. What the fuck? Help you with what? Bandits in the golden stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're gonna kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but oh, please help them. Okay. All right. I'll see to your problem. Thank you. How many were there? Imagine if I was just like, nah, so I can't can. do it right now. They looked a nasty bunch, though. Be careful in there, right? Hey, guys. Coming in. Ha! <laughs> Golden stables, my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. What's up, Fox? Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you of it? Nah. Get him, lads. I want that blade. Let's get this over with. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Uh, uh, all right, they're just fucking dead, I guess. Okay. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. There he is, the hero of the Golden Stables. People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. I see. Then you do Rosaria a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. Thanks. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right, we've got work to do for to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. Oh. Okay. Not manual labor. What do you want? Under the hour. You're the one who saw off the bandits, aren't you? Martha was singing your praises. Ah, it takes a brave man to march into danger out of the goodness of his heart. You have my respect. A Rosarian salute. Well, what is it they say? Old habits die hard. I trust you won't be reporting me to the Vicerine. <laughs> <laughs> if we'd had a few more like you about, perhaps the Rosfields might still... <laughs> Listen to me rambling yeah. on. Yeah. Thank you again, and... Uh, take care of yourself. I'll try. That was nice! What? All right. But we have a main quest to do, so... Oh, shit! I never realized you could do this. Wow. Okay. Never bothered to try. I 
Hi, Gav. Well, well, well. Someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny. I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief. Wouldn't you say? That was so gay. <laughs> Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then. Drake's head is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances are. I'm just saying, this notice. game's fruity. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, Prime and Icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out with Garuda. And, did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own, if need be. Let's try not to find out. <laughs> We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two behave now. <laughs> I love Sid! I love Sid! in Northridge. But will I find Sid and... Wait, oh dear. That is not the right area. Ground rolling down to old Maui. Whoa, I just have no idea what was just said at all. Hold on, let me open up my stream labs. My stream elements. Thank you for the 420, Soul Dragabond. Oh, yeah, sea shanty. I love that these are just literally just antelopes. God Christ, just Jesus. Why are we obliterating wildlife? Because funny. that move? Oh, you know. It's my bastard move. I want to go over here. I want to see what's, what I can fight here. Ah! 
Let's go! Aero spin, aero spin, aero spin, aero spin. Confusion was prickless. Well worth the 420. Hey there. Hey there, chocobos. Do I want to kill you? I should for the material. I really should. I'm making this game look fun as hell. I feel like this game is doing that itself. Chilling. Man! Look at this guy. I can't. Hello! Oh shit! Raptors! They have wings here. <laughs> These fucking little guys. Stay down. That's a fucked up chicken, true. leveling up. I love being a gamer. Look, there's even more of them. More raptors. This game is just, the, the combat feels just so good. How did you level up so fast? I destroyed 60 different ecosystems using the palm on the way there. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to say that. I'm stupid. Napalm? Yeah. 
I'm just killing, dude. That's all I'm doing. I'm just fucking murdering every single ecosystem known to man. This way? That's probably not a good idea, but. Raptor. I missed. Someone's still alive? Oh, never mind. Ooh! Oh, you can't climb the rock? Well, fucking lame. Lame! Stupid lame! Playable, lame, lame, lame. <gasps> Chocobos! I wonder what's down here. Hello. just killing them with fire. Oh, this is like the, the exit. Okay, cool. There's another fucking spider. Fuck you! Okay, back to quest objective. My bad. I got a little distracted. I almost did something really mean.
Nice! Killed a worm. Did well. Did good. Everything is uh, all and well. Work! 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 Stay down. Oh, don't do the dog, the, the dog wine, really? Oh. I just feel bad. Man. Oh, now you feel bad a little bit. <laughs> what did you say was in these pies again? Welcome, good. Ah. Back off, Branded. Can't you see I'm with a customer? All right, bitch. Oh, and a giant of roast eggs. Fish, fish. Fall from the sea of grace this very morning. Keep your hands to yourself. No one will buy anything that's been served by a brand it's touch. I want to kill every single one of these motherfuckers. Me, Ciders, Perry's, Murray's. The fruit's not getting any fresher. However, do they get that color? Have you no other bearers? Those two look rather used. Ugh. Used? Yes, but spent hardly. They've both at least a good year left in them. Ah. Uh. Closes my eyes. A moment, my lady. A moment? <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? Uh, You're the dame. I've never Let tried. Us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. Oh. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but why would you? Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... <laughs> unless, of course... His master deigned to appear. Yes. Oh. That will do nicely. Oh. But I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? What the hell are you doing? 
Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the vial already? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. Get out of my sight, filth. Then why did you tell me to stop? That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. Yeah? As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Oh, well. Oh. Well then, I suppose you'll need a little something to remember me by. And I suppose I'll need to get my coin purse. <laughs> I'm just gonna act like uh, I wasn't here. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Or will it? Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Okay. Thanks. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Ah. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Is it another? Yep, seal. Okay. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Thanks, ma'am. I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. 
If you find anything, ask for me there. Assigned bad at fetch quest. No. I should probably start here. I'll all the side quests. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatien. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared. The day before. She was in tears. Oh dear. She'd lost her comb, a gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatienne shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what our chambermate can tell us then. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. Oh. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatian. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatienne and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Oh my Fled god. Like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in, and she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. Oh, disgusting the human the being. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. I haven't seen you around the bay before. Yeah, I'll beat the shit out of him, ma'am. I'll kill him. Ow. Excuse me, you there? The yeah. gentleman with the sword? Can I help you? I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames? Sure. Might I trouble you for some assistance? Sure. You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. Uh -huh. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. Uh -huh. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be What's willing to What's the most recent, if you can say, major evening? quest you've done? Trying to see what I missed while at work. Ah, uh, it's a big major quest. We now have Ifrit! That's the biggest major quest. We went into a fucking... We saw Algand. <laughs> well, this game's version of Algand. <laughs> uh, yeah, also, we just... We defeated our evil version. <laughs> And now we can. Now we have a devil trigger. Why not? Marvelous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total a grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are 
Fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles, which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. You're just and a drug dealer. I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. You're so smarmy. Oh, God. That's the day done then. As if I want to talk right. to you. Fancy a drop of the Empire's finest? Well, you'll call me a brand of fuck. I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind. Whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right. Quickly now, before the guards notice. Every jounce and jostle of this unexpected leather sack is accompanied by an eerily melodic tinkling. It is likely best ignored. No burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink. The very best. Specially distilled for my most discerning customers. The guards find that. They'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. Bet I'll shove up my ass. Not <laughs> tell him there's more where that came from. For a price. Of course. Of course. Have you checked your butthole? Get up, butt up, butthole. I have no business with branded. Well, I have business with you. A package. Fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false, I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. Shut the fuck up, dude. In the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. I hope that we get to bitch slap every single motherfucker later on. Do an unarmed bitch! <laughs> I'll fight all of you. There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. Why didn't you say so? Oh my god. <laughs> Times are hard, but this year it'll make them less so, for a while at least. Sorry about the welcome, I meant nothing by it. You wait right here. Come at me, I've got a big, a big sword plot armor and I'm in need of EXP. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oroflam's finest. Just as promised. Perfume, cigars, and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. The question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. Hi, hey, dude, you have some... You've got some splaining to do because I'm confused. Ah, 
You have returned. I believe these are yours. After the leaves of the tabak tab tab plant, I can't say that word, are harvested, they are dried and cured for several months to improve their flavor before being finely chopped and rolled inside a single uncut leaf. Though no other ingredients are added, the resulting cigars are processed of the distinct aromas of vanilla, cherry, and clove. It is said that the petals of 20 roses are required to distill a single drop of fragrant rose oil. And a potent spirit made by distilling wine and then again in barrels for several decades. As such, it remains a luxury, even for the aristocrat. Aristocracy. Tayback. Tobacco. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the wall gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth. Hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. Is it a joke that chocobos don't have teeth? I profit from the hardship of others. I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you, as will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. I will kill Vulpixie. She's sending me mob psycho stuff and is trying to make me sad. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Just an oh, wow moment. Wait, can I? No, I can't. Wait, I can? I could. Oh. Never mind, I'm good though. I want to go back. These crystals here are for citizens only. There's none for the likes of you. Sorry. My bad. Sergeant's got it in for us two. As if either of... <laughs> Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Oh, you want to try? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. But I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The dame laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. Yeah, why not? Why don't we try it? How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earn that brooch? Sure. I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being... Properly looked after. Okay, dude. Fine, I'll fucking fight you. You fucking weirdos. <sighs> Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, 
I won't be holding back. You're gonna regret that, you dude. You'll be so Take sad. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. Rolls my eyes at these fucking losers. You ready? You good to go? You wanna go? No. Let's get the measure of you, shall we? Yeah, let's go. If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right. Let's be having you. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. I mean, I would like a different kind of pounding, but... Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon. Oh, you are actually so de despicably weak. Yeah? <sighs> Fuck me. Yeah. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Uh. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? Yeah, you ought to... Win the dame's favor anyway. By knowing when to hold my tongue for a start. Yeah. Okay. Got potential. I give you that. Okay. That's enough. You want? You want to? You want to get up? You want to have an attempt? Okay. Can I go now? Gregor's gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullocking he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side at a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dames in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Hmm? No. You didn't even touch me, dude. Fucking idiot. The Emperor's finest, thrashed by a branded. Sergeant may be a surly bastard, but he had our number, right? Drills, Heard the bones fell favorably to the mail then. I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Huh? Can I trust you to be discreet? Um, no. About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the dame of the veil in her endeavors okay as unlikely as it may seem there are those within the upper echelons of sambraqua society who find the empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric all right but what do you want from me this town is carried upon the backs of its bearers and yet many would see their servants starve not for the want of coin Simple fare costs little more than a pittance. But to revel in the suffering of others, a simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek Afford you a certain freedom. A freedom I could sorely use. Ha. Huh? Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. 
An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. Ah. What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today, that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed, not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes. And for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. Okay. You won't be staying, then. I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. Good dude. Crystal's curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. To the vial, then. Am I... Am I... Oh! Aww. I have something for you. Bare comestibles. Ah. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded! Who told you to rest? Stop those damn flames! Oh. And you! If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Oh. It's not been half a moon. Dude, uh, this is a bad idea. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. Okay. Yeah, so we gotta go to the other one first. You look like you need a rest. Not half as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. You know, these people are dying due to mundane tasks like drying clothes. <laughs> well, if now is not the time, then when? Enough! Curse you! Get away from me! Jack, you'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you! Yeah, it looks like you need it. The Chamberlain must have sent you, but alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I've wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. As for my hunger. Thank you, though. A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I'd better head to the Vale. Well, I can go here first. Are you the bastard? The bones fell favorably. To the Vale? 
I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off. Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame thanks you. Moore is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Fools there, no. Ifrit the fuck up, Clive. Just do it. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is. But I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers. And they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Hello. Hi, hi. All right. Are you here for business or pleasure? Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well, I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much pleasure, please. In late. So he really is a Chamberlain. There was a time when he was the Vow's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people around here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Ah. Uh. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. It's no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. Okay. <laughs> I better be going. <laughs> Clive's easily flustered. Well then, I suppose you'll need a little something. Does anything get better in this? That is yet to remain to be seen. Probably not. Time to kill more things! The day may have given you leave to walk freely about Northridge, but one step outside these walls, and you're just another branded with a target on his back. Okay, bye. I want to kill some shit! I want to go all the way over there. I want to see what's over here. What do we have over here? Some fucking dudes? I'm coming for you! Halt. Who goes there? Get fucked, nerds! 
Oh, it's so fucking over. Am I having fun with this game? Yes. Oh, I'm gonna charge all these guys. They don't even know what's gonna happen to them. That fucking, that fucking dash is so funny. An Imperial Watchtower. Should be well stocked. Yeah, well, I'm about to kill them, so like... You're not welcome here. I know. Guys are so sad. It's over. Someone heal me, damn it. Stay down. Anyways, easiest moment of my life. Let me in. No? Okay. Whatever. I killed them, so it doesn't matter. Hey there, big guy. Uh, I'm having tr- I don't know why I'm having sudden- Oh, oh, fuck. Not this time. Ow! Okay, that's bad. I keep forgetting that I have an LB now. Every single time, I keep forgetting. another one of those, but I can't activate it. Yep, 
Yeah, our fucking dog is just like goaded. For no reason. Our dog is a very, very good dog. Dog difference, yeah. Yippee! Yeah, the dash is pretty fucking funny. I love it. Gorgeous. My poor hand. Ha! Come here. No! My dash! You f the birds! Oh, we have nothing up here, huh? Oh, what's chilling out over there? What are you? Oh, you're also a, dra a dragon. This one I'm using. Two dragon talents. Nice. Don't know what those do, but I assume it's something good. Uh, according to Dexter on Twitter, Ether has been repeated, reportedly cancelled for 2024 and 2025. Who was surprised? I, I think that is just a common thought now. Oriflam, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? Hey there, big bird. <laughs> Yo! 
God, there's so much to kill. So much to do, so much to see, so much to do, so much to see, so much to kill, so much to kill, so much to kill. <laughs> well, hello there, fellas. I'm about to hit you with the one-two combo. Fellas, what brings you here? Nice day we're having. You guys scared of a bear? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. Demon Tamer The what now? While well, slaying a demon merely returns its soul to the hell whence it came. Until such time as it is a summon to inhabit a new host, taming a demon is a much more effective means of dampening its evil influence on the corporal plane. By luring and trapping the undying spirit of hell spawn into uh, a counterman sworn on one's person, one might also harness their power and channel a portion of its one's own. Cool. Demons, am I right? Anyways, <laughs> we have so many ability points. Hold on, we can upgrade this. This is already so fucking strong. I should probably... Yeah. Hey, fellas! Little birds. You're eating your little things? Yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys alone. I'm an asshole, but I'm not that much of an asshole. I say, having killed many chocobos before. Yeah. 
What do you mean the marine submarine drama is over? Stay down. Were they found? They're dead confirmed? Oh shit. Surprise, yeah. Wow. Shaking my head, dude. Suck, I hope you know this. That's enough dallying, you two. Oh. Up, the lot of you. There's still work to be done. Can we stick the hounds on him? Stick the hounds on him. Hey, dogs. Jesus. Not... for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Hmm? Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. All right. Uh... Where is he? My. I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go. And see that you kill the beast. I wonder if it's just a dog. Just a normal dog. Someone whose son's in mortal danger. He didn't seem all that worried. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. But the wolf! It's going to eat me! Not if I can help it. Oh, it is... <laughs> It is, it is, it is quite just a wolf. Okay. Oh, I got four experience. You weren't supposed to kill Wolfie. You were supposed to die. Father will have you whipped for this. Bearers aren't supposed to win. They never win. Oh. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Oh. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. Oh my god. The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. Father will hear of this. He will not be pleased. Father. The man 
killed my doggy. You, Brandy, come here this instant. How dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. The wretch would be me. That unlucky wretch would be me. I'm my own master. I'm beholden to no one. And I take orders from no one. Lies! Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? Shut your mouth and listen. Those bearers you killed, they were people. They felt fear and pain, just as you do. And unless you wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember we are not your playthings. Father, he's scaring me. How dare you threaten us? How dare Dare you! Can I beat you up Promise now? Promise by another hound. A bigger one. A better one. Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. I'm wasting my time. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? Victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier, burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Jack Garland. To rest. Oh my God, he's even in a field. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Though I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well... You can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. Oh! Is this your doing? Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. 
It's gonna tear your throat out. Oh, holy shit! Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less too murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Yeah. Oh, the help. They just were like, okay, let's kill a kid. Okay, okay. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> you never know. Our paths may cross again. Till then. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they really just did that. <laughs> The boy who cried wolf for real this time. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Wonder if the do you think the bodies will be there? What if there is just a wolf there now? Of course not! Oh come on! Oh. Well there is blood! Yeah, okay. That's enough. <laughs> I'm so glad the video game at some point says, fuck being the bigger person. Murder. <laughs> Hello. Wait. Um, have you seen my Chloe? Your what? I her out of her pen while I did my chores. But she hasn't come back yet. Is it a chocobo? I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? Uh, what is a Chloe? I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. Oh wait, no, She's it's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big. It's another but human. She's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is my job to feed her. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. Yeah, sensing a trend. It's That's gonna be a person. Search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. You work these fields. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, yeah. well, this hat's clay thing. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. Yep. These fucking bastards. Wait, oh, you're, well, Chloe. is probably not. Uh, more brown than white. You're not Chloe, are you, girl? Is that? Yep. Someone napping on the job. Nah, well. They don't mind the interruption. Napping. Yep, not dead. It's time to go home. Chloe? 
But why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloe's had pretty hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No, don't, don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Jesus Christ. Just like you. Yeah. Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> we just made the girl cry! Holy fuck! <laughs> we traumatized the kid! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Chloe. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> sorry, that's really funny. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> if the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. <laughs> Oi, don't touch anything. <laughs> God. <sighs> Go on, take it. Thanks for nothing. Hey guys, how are we feeling on today's stream? <laughs> are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing, and I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stopped to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. You know, you know how uh, this entire like game is kind of based on uh, on slavery. You know, in my head, I'm kind of just like. Thinking about what Yoshi P said. I f so I'm not saying. I mean, I don't know. That's a very delicate, super delicate issue. So there was like an entire thing that was going on about people saying that, well, um, there wasn't a lot of diversity in what they've shown based on this game 
And, you know, the more that I realize that, you know, slavery is kind of the main topic, maybe it's good <laughs> that we don't, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that we don't, uh, you know, <laughs> no, I think, I think, I th no, the comments were definitely, uh, the, the comments were definitely bad. What the fuck was that noise? What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. What is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Yes, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb, which he. <laughs> this is just all an sorts of a cobweb that I don't want to touch. To trade it for a newer one, but although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however. And for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean, most helpful. Yeah, again, not a not a topic I can fully comment on, but I see a it's a slippery slope in every direction. Anyone want fried chocobo? I also, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to like start something. I just, it's just something that like was nagging at the back of my brain and made me feel kind of nervous. Oh, wow, we just fucking destroyed those. Okay. Uh. Bodies. A man and a woman. Ah. Uh.
Well, the wolves have been busy. But the blood is long dry. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. He said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. And by the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. Oh. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <sighs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one. In the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which... I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. <laughs> you know, the more I think about how kind of grim this game I need is. To tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember. The more I'm about. like, do I really want to do that to the readers of Birdhaven? And then I think for a moment, and then I nod, and I'm like, yeah. Are still in one piece, I see. Yeah, you're a... You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. Um... They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Ah... Uh... Thank you, but... You need to have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... You found her then? Ah... Uh -huh. My dear Tatia, it is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who is young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatian. I believe it was yours. There you go. An old wooden comb gifted by Tatian by Madame Isabel. Several of the teeth appear to have been recently broken. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. Yippee! Another person dead! Oh, that's what I get every time we get a quest complete. Fucking. I should go. Before Fun. you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The Vale counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. <sighs> But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, 
I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. Yep, yep, hooray! Yippee! I love this video game! Video! The game of the videos! Yippee! The dame said you would be coming. Your friends are waiting at the chapel atop the hill. Go now. Thanks. What is there but oppression and sadness and what else? <laughs> yep, petting the dog. With my mind. What's up here? Nothing. Shit. Let me in. Socially social distant dog petting. trouble on the way wait if that's true no that makes so much sense because voxer is my favorite and i am literally dragging him across a floor of glass <laughs> wait shit fuck <laughs> Uh, you know, glass, thumbtacks, knives. Mud. Legos. <laughs> yeah, poor Voxer's gone through it all. <laughs> Mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. <laughs> Yo, thanks for the sub. I hope you enjoy your stay in your emotes. That's how you turn on lights. That's so lame. Oh. <laughs> oh. Cheer up, you two. Can't think of a safer place in the Empire than a... Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yep. Really? Doesn't seem very private. Oh. So then, how do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. 
where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by the army. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jill! Me too! Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is... If the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. Your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. Mm hmm. Okay. Why not? Yep. Cool. Yeah. Epic. <laughs> You reached a pivotal moment in the story. If you can, you will not be able to return. Okay. I mean, I've done all of the side quests and stuff. Wait, hold on. I gotta at least manage the volume output. Make sure that it's loud enough. We should be good. There are not nearly enough men here. Then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. <laughs> That'll be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Yeah, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. I love their interactions so yeah, much, dude. Keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy <gasps> is... Why, if it isn't a little guy. <laughs> hey, 
there, little boy. You're so wet. Come here. Oh, you're so wet. <laughs> what were you doing outside? Here, I, you're so lucky I have a towel here. <laughs> you're so wet. Hi. How was the outside, huh? Hey, rascal. Hey, little boy. Hi. <laughs> hey, little bastard. Yeah, <laughs> you little fuck. Come over here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to say hi? You want to say hi? Say hi. Meow. <laughs> He's so loud. He's such a noisy little guy. My idea of fulfillment. Hmm. Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it, and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. Come on, this way. Rascal. Try to stay out of sight. What the fuck are you? Hold on. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? He's such a little annoying bitch. Ah. <sighs> Rascal. Oh my god. What are you doing? Rascal, what are you... What are you doing back there? Oh, you're up there. Hi. You hate me. You fucking hate me. Why? You're doing climbing like that. 
stupid, dumb, stupid. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dealing with a baby. <laughs> Obviously. Thanks, Clive. Don't worry, the passage is empty. See this, Sid? This is so fucking awesome. They're not from the garrison. I swear yeah. this passage is. Of course it is. Perfect plans, Clyde. Perfect plans. That's enough. Anyways, wasn't that cool? I think it was cool. You should praise me. Call me a good boy. Uh, I mean, what? It never stood a chance. You're welcome. Rats! Rats, rats. The main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. Oh, I see those, yeah. Things must come to an end. I know. We might have a bit more company from now on. We sure will. But guess what? I have a cool attack. I like That's that it. attack. Hey guys. Summon the cannoneer at once. Hey guys. Do you like uh? Come here. Woo! <laughs> I was talking about earlier. What have we here? More insects come to be squashed. You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. That's a cannon. You're a talker. Then let's shut him up. Uh, oh! I said. <laughs> Okay. Ow, 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 ow,
Not in return. There's nothing left of him but hatred and rage. Let's end his torment. You are not going to fucking flame me anymore, dude. Oh shit! No! Ah! Cool. I'll never get used to that. The Kashiko know he was still a man. A man who drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. Come on. Guard duty's a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cares. Funniest prompt ever. Oh, breathe deep of the blessing, my friends. Who said being a dominant doesn't have its benefits? Sid, this is an ether flood. There shouldn't be one here, should there? The workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which means we need to be quick. The ether won't hurt us, but I'd rather not find out what it's done to everyone else. Ah! I see. Oh dear, we're getting like everything back. Oh, cool. Are they just zombie fight now? Oh, the mines. The gods. These are gods. These are like monsters of them. All we can do now is put them out of their misery. Isabel said she thought the Empire might be planning to abandon the capital. Could this be why? Oh, 
I assume this is the way to go, so I assume you can't go underneath here. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Aether zombies. Dear. Doesn't look that far. Oh. Right. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what I thought. Save was so anticlimactic. Not as spry as I used to be. I'll take that as a thank you. Look on the bright side. Eh? At least you won't get lost. bit of a moment there, Clive, did you? Uh, some opponents will use the ability water to inv invigorate themselves, enhancing their performance in battle. Okay. Pointing at my screen. Oh, at the title of the stream. Uh, this shit kind of fruity. it again just kidding i will say it so many more times to the point it's gonna become annoying this entire thing is so goddamn gay i don't know how to explain it Come here. 
Yeah, that was an ambush. Okay. Yeah, this dash is really funny. Genuinely, I think my favorite ability now. Oh, uh, we really need to, like, enhance this. Uh, we should also... This. All right, we almost got all of this uh, upgraded. Yeah, Sid and Clive had had a moment. Yeah, a little bit, a little moment, a tiny moment, tiny bit, ever so slightly. <laughs> Wait. We came through here and Oh shit. Guys, my ass seems to be a little lost. I went the wrong way. So I thought that I was going to be going like I I came oh my god Oh my god I'm a fucking idiot I see the handle now What breed is Torgal? Good boy Fix it for the three months. How's it going? Coral sword. 
Oh, shit! Coral, while razor sharp, is also painfully brittle, which is why it's used in all but the most primitive of weapons is almost unheard of. The sort of unknown provenance, however, is possessive of remarkable rigidity, while maintaining an edge that rivals that of Odin's blade. Goodbye, flame tongue. I see they replaced that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. On the count of three. Three. <laughs> what happened to two? Ask one. <laughs> Once more. Aye, seen as you're trying now. Nice. As if that was going to keep us out. That thing is so cool, dude. The mother crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. <laughs> yeah, I did. Sorry. While you guys weren't looking, I shoved it somewhere else. Oh! Big. Hello. There. That's our way into the inner sanctum. You'd think they'd have patched that up by now. Sorry, state the empire's in. Wait. You don't mean... Aye. My little game of hide-and-seek with Bahama ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, he started it. God, the music. How did he make it out alive? I walked. You should try it. Hold on. Uh, yeah, here it is. The irreversible change brought about by living beings' overexposure to aether. Creatures are stripped of any intelligence or sense of self that may once have had and become suffused with life force, usually manifesting as extreme strength and aggression. Thor can also turn, resulting in their twist, twisted overgrowth. Those with aetherial tolerance, however, such as dominance and bearers, are less likely to turn Akashic. Pools of concentrated air for that form on the land. Yeah, air for floods. Uh, though to be caused by an imbalance and its diffusion beneath, the aether is usually invisible. At flood level concentrations, it takes on a blue glow. Ha uh ha. -huh. Will you make it, Sid? Whoa! Oh, what? Hey, no. you guys can't just fucking cheat. Maybe later. I guess Torgal just has plot armor. 
Which is good. These creatures from Phoenix Gate be here in the mines. There are two places connected somehow. Good boy armor, yeah. God, this is gorgeous. Hi guys. in the Imperial Army. Soldiers assigned to the Glass Gate would tell stories about something they called the Guardian. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. Let's just be careful then. Let's see what we're fighting. <sighs> I mean, I gotta give it to them. This arena do be kind of big. Come from. Whoa! If I had to guess. I wonder if this is if they have like a specific name. Another victim of the flood. Yeah, A for dragon, just a dragon, maybe. Okay, yeah, it's just a cash and drag. Always. Oi, oi, oi. She. Ah, ha, ha! The ability! It's like the Grossmager, like, tail thing.
Look, it's doing the fucking... I don't know what it's called. Um... You know the in and out mechanic from Reltsvager? God. Hot tail and... No, well, no, that's... Hot wing and hot tail. That's not... No, I'm talking about... I'm talking about what's it called from uh, Omega Raids. The Hrelsvager fight. A uh, Midgard Summer, right, not Hrelsvager, right. I keep. <laughs> That's why I was fucking up. Yeah, the Midgard Summer ability. Where's he off to now? Cauterize! Oh shit! Ah! Hi! Hi! Out! Yeah, okay, that's fair. Dragon dance! Oh! 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 My God! Wow!
Oh my god! Oh, we did it! Oh shit! Dude, my fucking, my heart, dude! Jesus! Black blood, a thick, oily substance, something found pooling in newly formed wounds in the earth, such as the cracks left by tremors or the passing of an icon. Though it burns as hot and bright as any crystal, the liquid has until recently been largely ignored by people of Valistea due to the acrid smoke it emits when ignited. Aww. Damn, just turns to dust. Are you all right? Fine. The inner sanctum lies just beyond. Chances are the palace guard knows we're here. We should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place awash with this much ether. Dude. Clive. Sid. If this all works and the blessing fades, Things are likely to get worse for our kind before they get better. Being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after. By which I mean hunted. I just hope in the end, they'll see that we didn't have any other choice. That it was the only way to get us to a better place. Then here I was thinking I was the uncertain one. Luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you. Then it all starts here. Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? That was not what we said, but... That was the biggest fucking death flag I've ever seen in my life. We're almost there. Anyone having second thoughts? He was Not literally me. waving it in my face. We're with you to the end, Sid. Then what are we waiting for? said the words, man, I'm dying. I would have believed him. It's beautiful. Of Sambrek. I thought he was going to say Sabik again. I was about to scream. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> I think we're going to need a bigger sword. Mine's bigger. Thank you, Clive. But I meant that figuratively. The core's clearly made of sterner stuff. Taya's going to have a fix when she hears about this. Stand back. It's about to get cramped in here. Ah, Sid.
Well, there it goes. Clive, look. Um. What is that? we now oh god Clive you really gotta get your inner emotions under control I'm just Where saying yeah that's a good question what the fuck oh That looks so cool. You. You again. Where are you? What do you want? Fuck. It's still alive. Oh, we 
gave him a weapon. Awesome. Oh wow, I didn't even mean to do it that fast. That was awesome. <laughs> I just did it on instinct. Isn't yours. I'm a 14 Raider, this is fine. But this is mine. So fucking back. I remember now. I had a fire. I am a priest. Uh, embody if you can. Yeah. Yep. 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 Oh. Fight effort seemed so imposing and scary with how close the camera was. Here he's a dog with the zoomies! Does look very tiny. Uh, 
auch. Sorry, I'm... The fucking music's vibing, dude. We're playing gymnastics. You missed the hellfire! Oh, ha ha! Breath of Fire, Flames of Rebirth. 
Ah, wow. In this arena, we really did look super tiny and small. Enjoy your nap. You're wounded. This? It's only a scratch. All right, the hole. We'll... we'll find you a healer. Here. No, you won't. Try not to talk. <sighs> Clive. For so long, I thought I had all the answers. But then I met you. And I learned. It wasn't a good death we should be fighting for, but a better life. It's all very well, a man reclaiming his fate. But if he can't choose how he meets it, what's the point? So, I made a choice.
In ashen grip, let ember glow to kindle flames anew. Sorry, Clive. Had I arrived but a moment sooner. Do you remember me, boy? Aww. I saw you protect them. That was very brave. I know you're there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh. <laughs> you have learned our name. What else have you learned, Phoenix? Hmm. My oh. travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. And I know that it is his power oh. that you seek. But know this. If you want him, you'll have to go through me. Very well. Breath of mine ancestors, fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. This is getting us nowhere. We agree. No more games, Phoenix. We are come to claim our vessel. And I said no. Flames are nothing. You will know what it is to burn. Yours is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to. Please, let him see at least. Come on. Please, please let him see him. Yes! Oh! These are not flames of destruction. Have you forgotten already who I am?
Uh oh. Oh my god! Some bad news, buddy. Help us. Where is he? Ah, you'll do. Ah. Bastard. Gab, we've got to go. Not without this. It is not among the dead. Shall I send a Stolas? That won't be necessary. Huh? Dead. Hello, you. The finest silks from the master weavers of Randela. Come. Come, feel its softness. Juggle Make a steaks, nice gift for your wife. Sausage, ah. All from greens fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find. Oh, well, I understand now. I said there's a, a point of no return. Weird. I understand now. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. Curatives, restoratives, uncle, all you like, sir. It's all fresh. Pick this very morning. Restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Armatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Might I interest you in a potion, my lady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Curatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Curatives, curatives, restoratives. Five years. Five. It's good to see you, Sid. What have we learned? You took his name? <sighs> the bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kuka's private guard. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Wait, his brand's gone. Another. What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. 
Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. Oh, sorry. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer. That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. Good. My God, you still look fine. Okay. Damn, this game kind of a roller coaster ride. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Lise, we don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. <laughs> but you're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. <laughs> Is going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? It's him. The outlaw. Sit here. Justice can be used to launch a. <laughs> Sid dies here. Holy shit! Oh! Coral? They brought a pet. Or just a cat. You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. Those things are fast. We'll have to be faster. Coral? No, just a Republican war panther. 
Like that's that's what it is. Holy shit! The fucking switch around is actually genuinely so fucking fun. <sighs> to hell with this! Cowards. They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. Our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear um. me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole. All because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all marked now. <laughs> oh, great. <sighs> For five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we'll stay. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. Wow, we can go nowhere. Yippee! Lodge number arrow speed. The hideaway, huh? That night five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope. For a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. 
Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> a world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want. And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds. Home sweet home. Oh. Oh, wow. Otto was asking after you. Ah. Let's go and see him. Uh, never a dull moment. Welcome back, Sid. It's so weird Finish being called. Log, so we can call it a morning. So weird being called Sid now. Otto will want to know what happened in Costness. I expect he'll be in the mess. Yeah. Sorry, hey, how's it going? Oh. Oh. Oh, I want to look around. I'm going to look around. As hither yon dance autumn winds atop the rotten pier of Sid's return, the faithful sing across the blighted mirror. <laughs> Shelves are closed. The sign outside should have told you. Yeah, the sign outside should have told you. But there's no sign. Uh, uh. Uh, Have we any more knuckle pies? Oh, sadly not. Molly used the last of the chocobo in a stew. To maintain yard ch Oh my god! Oh, marinate! Oh my god. I was like, what the fuck do you mean? Prepare hand by draining blood and removing both head and feet. Awful, particularly the heart and liver should be set aside for later use. Stir into deep bowl water, watered wine, preferably of the red variety, honey, salt, pepper, nutmeg, and other seasonal savory herbs if you so desire. Add to the bowl the dressed bird and let lay in a dark room for a single turn of the sun. Break the breast bone and ready your force meat th thusly. Chop together the heart and liver of the chocobo and mix it with the crumb of stale barm and pipio, or cupo, uh, nuts soaked in boiled cream. Beaten mace and as much time as will lie on a gill penny and fill the bird, but not overly so. Lard the breast with boar bacon and spit the bird, trying it at both ends of the forest meat, not spillage of the colds. Roast until skin is golden brown, taking care to ba base regularly with, with drippings. Ah. Does that one have 
blood on it. Well, don't just stand there gawping. God, you're still alive. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. Of course. Of course. Come again. Oh, don't. Oh, <gasps> you're away. back. You, you, uh, you didn't happen to run out of potions while you're away, did you? We've a fine selection of tonics and tink uh, tinctures. Oh, perhaps you'd be interested in some new accoutrement. I couldn't. Um, gear. <laughs> Back, are you? So, will it be? Let's. Oh. Could last you a good while. I hope so. That it? Fine. If you told me you could fire a forge without a crystal or a bearer before I came here, I'd have taken you for a madman. But no, here it is. The secret's in the bellows, you know. They're Master Sid's own design. Uh, the other Master Sid. Oh, wow. Look, Sid. Squeaks wants to meet you. I, I can't keep him, can I? Can't I? You want to keep a rat? Go for it, dude. Just make sure it's checked Don't first. have to be replaced. Nearly half the crates were lost to bandits. But half weren't, and their contents will see us through the season. Wait, Clive's Chambers. <laughs> okay, sorry, my bad. What's the horn swept? Oh wow, it's my chambers. Can I lay down? Oh. Wall of memories. The oath. Created the day Clive pledged his allegiance to Sid. This crystal shard transfixed with twin daggers is a powerful reminder of a promise made, a friendship forged, and your leg legacy inherited. Oh wow, look at all of these little things we can get. Awesome. I'm going to start crying now. Which is kind of insane. That's the first memory we have? Question mark? Of how many? How, uh, this game? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? Oh, wow. It's not the... This tongue here pulls the black from the lake water and renders it free. You'll have to ask me if you want to know how it works, though. Yeah. Much was lost when the first hideaway fell. Colleagues and friends. Years of hard work, but we did not let that loss defeat us. And our work will not be in vain. No. The spirits of our fallen comrades live on in every leaf and limb you see here. Uh, experimental record. Bohemil Hybotanist. Mix equal parts first-rate vineyard hummus from Gotland's bales with deadland soil. Of the six cutting plant, uh, cuttings planted therein, two survived to flower, only to wither and die within a sen sen night. Even amalgamated with the finest imperial loam, the blighted earth is still affecting a nutritional deficiency. It might be remedied with some further source of nourishment, saltpeter or potash, or the dung of a racing chocobo. This shall be the subject of my next round of experiments. 
The foundations of Valestian botany. Morbul tendrils. After exercising from the trunk, dry for three to five turns of the sun until brittle to the touch. Grind and mortar and add to warm coral milk to remedy gout, melancholy, and moon sickness. Caution recommended when harvesting as the host may grow disquieted. Aha! Ah, oh, man! Where am I? Oh! Shirley says I can't go and play until I finish my sums. Well then hurry up and finish them! We need three for curling geese. just about to start our next lesson. You're welcome to join us, but be warned. I tolerate absolutely no tomfoolery. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'll, I'll move on. Sorry. Can't catch a wink with all the clamor in the hall. The atrium's quiet this time of day. Okay. This is gorgeous. Shit. What's the special occasion? <laughs> You're welcome to join us for a spell. If you think Jill won't mind. Oh, oh, oh. I want to go in the light. 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 Lawsman says I can borrow as many books as I can carry. This was all I could carry. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking mood! Good day to you, Sid. No one works longer or harder than our Otto. You can scour the whole of storm and ash, and you won't find a better man. Uh huh. Escape from the slave markets. How'd you manage that? I had some help, but it was mostly luck. The others weren't so lucky. Taya is performing a delicate operation and must not be disturbed. I'll let her know you called. Hey, Otto. Ah, oh, there you are, Clive. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sends his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Still can't work that one out? There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. <gasps> it's Nectar! You're wondering what the this uh, new board is behind me, aren't you? I'm good time, my furless friend. I'm good time. He's okay! I trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? 
I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? I don't know, I ask myself that every single day. Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason, she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire, the Dalmechian Republic, the Kingdom of Walud, and of course, our friends in Yaran. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? You. Wait, so who is Vivian? A scholar and a scientist who makes her home in the hideaway, analyzing every shred of information that comes in from the wider world in order to uh, divine the dispositions of the realms, armies, and those who lead them. Here's her insight to Clive that he might better understand the lay of the land. The moniker Nine Tales, of which she herself was fond, was gifted her by her fellow scholars in recognition of her ability to speak at length on almost any subject. Born in Twinside. Do not fear for your home. Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. But the question is, does that mean that the blight is still around? Like that the, the killing of the, of the Mother Crystal did fucking nothing? Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson... Complete a simple errand for me, and we shall consider ourselves even. Even? Oh. Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. <sighs> I guess so. I guess so. All operations are suspended until further notice. Lawsman Harpocrates. Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. 
Vivian asked me to return it. On gods and men. Ha. Huh. Ready. <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same. But alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head. But without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Did they gruff Please. up? Don't Clive? apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, he's very scruffy. You are too kind. He looks like if you were to touch there him, it like itch. In this world like not would like you would touch it, and it's like the how do you call it? Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. I don't know how to explain it. Always got a pocket for him. Nix him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. Sandpaper. <laughs> yeah. The twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. Well, <laughs> crow. No, I don't think he's Titan that prickly. Took much from us that night, from some more than others, and the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal, which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must, just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Gav yeah, will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Gav! What if Gav appears and they just like give each, like they kiss? Not back a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself and it's all thanks to you Talia the scalpel did most of the work ah before I forget a rider was here with a letter from Gav Otto left it on your desk Otto stole us all right I'll have a look and then you get some rest oh, oh my god her hair is long oh Jesus what could Gav have thought worthy of a letter That fucking jump scared me. Have you been to the toll? I hear you shit. <gasps> Jesus fucking Christ, Jill, can you answer me why the fuck you were just standing there? Otto was here earlier with a letter from Gav. He left it on your desk. Oh, do we. You know, start swiggling my eyebrow, Sherabin? Reports, letters, and other important missives addressed to Clive are delivered to, to, to the reading table in his chambers. New messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the reading desk upon. I fucking miss Sid. Aw, oh, yeah, he's missing an eye. Uh, the Replicas army marches on the Empire at Twinside, and the men of the Rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing, I reckon. I'll see you done to uh, wear upon my return, Gav. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kupka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance, the one we've been waiting for. But look how far we've come. 
all that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. Okay. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. He did. <gasps> he was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. To sit. Next time on Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> oh, my God. And so the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this, this is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. Who is this voice actor? This voice sounds familiar. much is ever closer to its end and here we chase shadows tell me brother are our efforts in vain master clive a moment if you uh, my apologies, I didn't mean to intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. Okay. What would make Martha leave the rest? Something has happened to Martha. We need to speak with Otto.
the music just it's just such a so vibey what do we know otto some lads from the imperial garrison in rosaria started a fight over at martha's rest blood was spilled bones were broken the usual but somewhere in the middle of hill martha vanished without a word to anyone and that ain't like her clive something's not right you think this was planned of course it bloody was ever since eastpool the empire has been tightening its grip around the duchy's balls they've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway claiming their traitors to the holy throne conspiring to restore the house of rosfield to power I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder ah. to take bearers in. And now she's missing. She's fallen into the hands of the Empire. We could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. And how may I assist you today? One would think. Uh, my role was abundantly clear by now. I offer you and yours the guiding light of knowledge, that of matters military and political, both past and present, that in, that I might that it might illuminate your way ahead. For it is only by understanding what has come before uh, that one might steer one's way towards a brighter future. Your role, meanwhile, is to ensure that I remain furnished with as much information on the state of the realm as your people can muster, in order that I might continue to appraise the dis disposition of the great nations and those who rule them. <laughs> and, of course, to pay attention during my lectures. It would not do to appoint the storied Nine Tails as your tutor, only to disregard her expert advice. I admit... When I took up my professor's bonnet and began teaching at the University of Conver, I did not think for a moment that I would be the one uh, day counted the outlaw among my pupils, but nor did I imagine that my fellow educators would have designed uh, designs on my life, and we both know how that ended. Has it been a year already? <laughs> Such is the peril of an overly inquisitive mind, I suppose. One is wont to uncover uh, that which others would go to great lengths to ensure remained hidden. Were it not for you and our mutual friend having someone to come, uh, having come to the rescue, my curiosity would likely have proved fatal. But instead, I was not only saved, but granted a new li lease of life, as personal tutor to a band of outlaws, no less. A far more reputable fellowship than anything in the academic world, I assure you. My beloved homeland. The crossroads of Alistia where one only has to stroll the streets to hear news from every far-flung corner of the realm. Its mother crystal yields more shards than any other, and its lands even now remain untouched by the blight. It is a blessed country indeed. Or at least, it uh, was. Until Sabrek elected to invade, and established a new holy capital upon twin sides here, here to four neutral shores. <sighs> it pains me to see the land I loved so changed, and even more to know that I did not predict it. I knew that Emperor Sylvester had designed to, uh, designs of the Dominion, but to abandon Oriflam, the seat of the Holy Empire since its uh, inception, seemed too audacious a move even for him. Going so soon? Yeah. Oh, we have a side quest on her. Aero Pet. <gasps> Hello, thanks for the other lines. I hope y'all are doing good so far. I know it's been a long stream. Almost 10 hours. Yippee! Finish with that long slack, Sid. Damn blighty bilge. Is everything all right? Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's... Uh, I hope you've been having a fun... So, yeah, I have been having fun. Only problem is, like, 
So this is a really funny thing about me. When a lot of sad shit happens in a really quick period of time. Yes, Rascal, can I help you? Yeah? Mm -hmm, yeah, I get. I hear you. Yeah, I understand you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Do you have any more to say? Yeah. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it, Rascal? Huh? Yeah. See, he has opinions too, Rascal. Ah. <laughs> What's wrong, Rascal? Is it too warm for you? Is it too warm for little old Rascal? You want me to go to bed? Are you trying to get me to go to bed, Rascal? What's up, Rascal? Hi. 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 <laughs> Prop him up on a couch and a glass of vine. Uh, vine? Wine. Let him vent. Yes, Rascal? I get you, man. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, when a lot of really sad shit happens in a very quick, uh, like, one after another, it drains me super fucking hard. Even though I eat that shit up like a delicious glass of milk. It does drain me really quick. <laughs> Whoops. Roses. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tarts. I suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Not any bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. What is that? Hmm. Of course, Obelus. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Now, I'm not so unkind as to ask you Cock to and ball. a far away forest well, and you, you, you could say it's to kind of mere. torture. Which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pictures of Curl Tail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest, that's for certain. Cock and ball. <laughs> Cock and ball. <laughs> cool. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, holy shit, look at that. Yes, Rascal? Rascal? I'm probably gonna have to end soon. Rascal! What do you want? Huh? Can I ask him? Oh, okay. We can just do- okay, awesome. Why not? Easier than felling a forest, I said. The trees don't have teeth. Ow! Yeah. Get off. 
Rascal, are you really trying to... You're trying to fucking push me. Pitch wax? The sticky sound is found in the picture of a carnivorous plant which thrives in Rosarian lowlands. Oh. I can't imagine Obelis needing any more than this. Time to head home. Cool. Awesome. That's the wrong button. Okay, after we deliver this, uh, the side quest, that's it for me today. Because I also gotta work on something really special. Ha 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 ha! It's called, it's it, you know, it's this little thing called the uh, Birdhaven. I don't know if you've heard about it, but. Well, did you find me some wax? Find is one way of putting it. Finding. <laughs> Reeks like a chocobo's ass. Oh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Argo? So your boat has a name? I didn't know. Yeah. Same as me old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. Yay! And with that, the side quest is finished. Ah, oh, badge of might, cock and ball. <laughs> yep, increases attack by twelve. Oh shit! All right, everybody. It is indeed time. I'm glad they're so happy. Oh, wonderful. Yep. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, thank you so much. So, so much for watching. Let's see if there's anybody we can raid. Um... Oh, I would send you guys Oh, Milky's life. We can we can give him back the uh There we go. Since he raided me this morning. Yeah, of course I'm streaming again tomorrow. This game is gonna be the only thing I'm gonna be playing until I finish it. <laughs> Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have fun over at Milky's place. Uh I don't know if I'm far ahead of him. Uh, I probably am, but yeah, uh, <laughs> hope you have fun. Bye-bye, gamers. Yippee!